Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today I have a little Sephora and Ulta haul for you. And actually, I think it's the first one of the year because I have bought next to nothing this year except for from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they haven't been open very long. So, and I don't really need anything. So I was really on a low buy the first purchase I made from Ulta was the LA Girl Artistry and Mastery palettes, which I totally love. And they recently had a pretty cool gift with purchase deal. And so I got a box from Ulta, which is, gosh, I don't remember the last time I got one of those. And actually, I didn't buy anything at the Sephora sale this spring either. Um, I can't even believe it because that's a first for years. But after the Sephora sale, they had a sale and they changed the rewards program to where you can cash in 500 points for $10 off your purchase. Now that's kind of a worse deal because I think, I forget, if you had 2,000 points that would give you $100 off. So the Sephora rewards program keeps getting worse but I did have some points and since I'm not shopping very often I went ahead and cashed in some additional ten dollars off on items that they put on sale after the sale and then as always I used Rakuten um, which used to be Ebates and then if I had any additional points and um, with the Sephora I put them on my Sephora card as long as you pay it off when you get the bill you won't incur the crazy interest rate, which I think is like 27 or 28 percent. Now, the Sephora credit card is also run by the Ulta credit card people, which is Community Bank. Um, they do both the Ultimate Rewards credit card and the Sephora card, so both very high interest rates. So, really not a good deal unless you pay off your bill when you get it, which is what I do. So if you run a balance, it's not going to be worth it at all. So you might as well just pay cash or put it on a Discover or a different credit card if you're going to charge it. But anyways, let's get started. Um, so I'm going to start with my Sephora items. And everything I bought was on sale. So let's see what I got. So the first little box that I got was, and because I'm uh, Rouge, I get free shipping. So, and a lot of times they also have... Uh, gift with purchase or no, what do they call them? Uh, beauty offers if you spend $25 or $35 you can get an extra little gift and then you get your sample So let's see what I got because I don't even remember. Okay, the first thing I got is um, Well, this isn't probably pretty exciting to you all but it is to me. I use the Tarte Amazonian clay powder foundation and this is normally a $36 item and for whatever reason it was on sale for 26 uh, excuse me $27 so that's a $9 savings and I use the shade light neutral and this is just a great I have oily skin and if you have oily skin and after you do your makeup this is a great powder to put on this is my holy grail um it lasts better than anything it lasts better than laura mercier well because it's not a setting powder it's actually a powder foundation so if i use this my skin just stays matte pretty much all day um i got fair light neutral because it seems like my skin is lightening maybe with all the vitamin c or whatever but anyways it comes in a, in a sifter and it's just a fantastic if you have oily skin, you want to get the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation. It's just really, really great. So, on sale, it was $36 on sale for $27. I got free shipping, so uh, tax $2.63, so it's $29.63. So, this hardly ever goes on sale, maybe once a year. So, I was happy to get it. And my free uh, samples that I got a. Uh, black opium i like the black opium and i like these little perfume samples to carry in my purse uh they sent me uh i requested something else but this is an urban decay stay naked card so i'm happy to try that because i do like urban decay and the uh the thing that i wanted that i got i wanted to try the new bear uh first aid beauty 
um, weightless mineral zinc oxide sunscreen. So this is a really nice little, uh, I haven't tried it yet. It's eight milliliters, 0 0.27 fluid ounces, but this was the thing I wanted to try. The zinc oxide is 16.8% weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide SPF 30 broad spectrum, oil free, non comedogenic safe for sensitive skin. I do like first aid beauty. So this was the beauty offer that I was out to get. And, um, so it's a cute little sample and I can't wait to try it. So that was, you had to spend $25. So I barely made it. And that was the thing that I selected. So that was the first item that I got. And the reason I ordered them in all these separate boxes is because if you spent over $25, uh, I got some more sunscreen because you know, now's the time for sunscreen and I really want to try it. I've heard a lot of good things. Reviews are good and it's pretty expensive. Okay. So the second little box I got, uh, let's see what that sale item was. Oh, this was the Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime Golden Opulence Palette. Now, this palette came out at, uh, it was to celebrate the year of the, what is it? The year of the whatever it is. Uh, I don't remember what it is this year. For 2020, which has turned out so far to be an awful year. But this is a limited edition. It comes in the red glitter packaging. And it was $65 and it was on sale for $39. So um, I got it for $39 and of course free shipping and tax. So my order came to $42.80. And after opening this palette, let me show it to you. I wasn't really thrilled with it. I like the big mothership palettes, but it seems these smaller ones just aren't as good. So it opens up and it just looked boring. I mean, it's okay. Um, it's a neutral and of course there's her gold that she puts in everything. I wish she'd quit doing, but it is golden opulence. Uh, this is a real pretty kind of a sparkly berry shade. And then you've got your two neutral mattes and then you've got a, actually this looks like a lot like the divine rose two palette uh with a couple fewer shades but anyways um i haven't tried it yet but um i was a little underwhelmed but now that i'm looking at it it looks a lot like divine rose two so i'm just gonna leave this setting out for a minute and then uh you'll see why if i haven't given myself away already so and in this little box Again, I got another of the First Aid Beauty sunscreens because I spent more than $25. And I got a Laneige water sleeping mask sample, which I've been wanting to try. I've seen it at um, TJ Maxx, but it's almost the same price as what you can buy it at Sephora. So, and they sent me a Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipstick Sampler. Um, which I had uh, tried to get uh, some um, benefit uh, cabrow or a brow thing, but I guess they were out of it. They sent me this instead. But this is the coolest sample ever. Look, it's a little sample of all these shades. And then there's, you know, Huda likes to put herself on everything. So there's her. I think this is the most adorable sampler set ever so i was actually thrilled to get it it says share the demi matte with your favorite beauty bosses peel off and apply with a lip brush so this is amazing and it's a little sample of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen shades Inspired by Huda's love for self-expression through makeup, Demi Matte showcases a full spectrum of ultra feminine colors to complement every one of your alter egos. This is like awesome. I love it. So um, I had tried to get, as I said, a benefit uh, brow something and uh, they sent me this instead. So uh, I stoked to get that little sampler from Huda Beauty. So super cute. So that was my next sale item um and so that was a savings of uh 26 dollars 
on that and then throwing down Rakuten and the and all that. So that was a good deal. Okay, so my next item was And again, this was all right after the sale. These items went on sale. So it, it was actually a bigger sale than the sale. The next thing I got was a another... This is a... I already have this, but it went on sale. I got another of the Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse, the Christmas set. I bought this uh, at Christmas for full price, and I absolutely love it. It's a five-piece mini set of her, her, um, of her, her glosses. This is a $42 item. It went on sale for a minute for $29, which is so crazy. And I threw down 500 points, so I got another $10 off. Tax was $1.85, so I got this for $20.85. So I was so excited about it because I love this set, and I thought it was a good value at $42. And to get a backup, I won't have to buy any Fenty Gloss. I love the tin packaging that it came in and then you get all of her you get her new shades and then you get I mean you get hot chocolate her new shade and you get um, pretty please which is her hot pink you get pretty please then you get a fussy which is her new shade that everybody loves you get confetti then the hot chocolate which I think is so pretty and then you get Cheeky, that fire orange. And I just absolutely love this set. So to be able to get it on sale. So I saved a ton of money. So it's on sale for $29. I got it for less than half price um, after it's all said and done. And then I also got another Huda sample, which was so awesome. And another sunscreen so I'm gonna have some nice little sunscreens in my purse and I was happy to get a backup of that so that was a great deal I couldn't turn that down and then last but not least I got I just got this yesterday I ordered it early on the fourth and I got the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 Mothership 8 artistry palette I just did a look with it it's what I'm wearing today it's so pretty. I almost didn't buy it because of the price tag, but now that I have it, I'm glad I did. And what kind of deal did I get on this? Well, it was $125, and I was able to throw down 500 points to get $10 off, and then I used the Rakuten, and I put it on my Sephora card. But the tax was $11.21, so it came out to be $126.21 altogether, which is like regular price but I got free shipping as well so and here is the beautiful palette which everybody is looking at right now it's so pretty and I'm just gonna hold it up next to the golden opulence so in case you have golden opulence because you can't order this well tomorrow uh, you can get this at Sephora it's sold out right now but let me uh, it let me see how it does look oh my gosh there are some look at this Wow, I didn't even catch that this morning. But look at the similarity in some of the shades here with Golden Opulence. Okay, so there's the two golds right next to each other. That's obvious. And then um, your matte shades. Let me put it around the other side. Your matte. Oh my gosh, those are very similar. Look at this end of the palette, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. You've got a peach and your brown mats are ve that is very very close wow i would it does look like well that's crazy the pink is is deeper of course but there are definite similarities between divine rose 2 and golden opulence um but anyways, uh, this one's all gone now, and this one's sold out, but uh, it will be available tomorrow on Sephora. But it's in the black case, of course. If you want the pink case, you got to go to Pat McGrath website and fight everybody on that deal. And it would have been nice, but I mean, um, I bet, you know, the palette probably looks more pink than it is in a pink case. In a black case, you can see it's not really... A pink palette but in a pink case it would look more pink you know what I'm saying 
Um, but wow, I, I can't even believe how similar Golden Opulence looks. Um, yeah, you've got some real similar shades there. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that, that brown sand color, the gold. Wow. Um, okay. So you might not need it after comparing. But anyways, um, if you ordered, uh, the, um, I don't know what it, what the uh, amount was. You got a clean sample bag. So I did get that. Let's see. Uh, I got a Huda Faux Filter Foundation card. So Huda's got some new stuff. Um, and also, what is that? Complexion Perfection Balm. Oh, okay. So you get a primer as well. And it looks like she's got a lot of shades. So that's pretty good. So that's from Huda. And you also, I got a, I was able to select a NARS Climax Mascara. So that's a pretty good size sample. Uh, and I like NARS, so uh, I've never tried that mascara, so I'm looking forward to that. That was an item that I could select. And then you also got a nine-piece clean makeup sample bag. So let's see what's in that. Um, that was with like $35 purchase, I think. So let's see what's in this little Sephora gift bag. Okay, you've got a Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar little perfume. A Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Resurfacing Sample. That's a nice size. You could probably use that twice. An Origin Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream Packet. Uh, that's a good brand. I like that. Here is a Drunk Elephant TLC Happy Scalp Scrub. 10% AHA, BHA plant oil, so that uh, you want to clean your scalp. That looks like you could get a couple uses out of it, so that's a nice item from Drunk Elephant. Tata Harper Water Lock Moisturizer, that's a nice little sample. That looks like a one-time with skin smoothing peptides, so that looks good. Here we have a Cora Organics Noni Bright Vitamin C Serum. I think I just saw this over at Marshall's yesterday actually to be honest with you I think I just saw this but anyways looking forward to trying that out I've never I've just uh, been hearing about that brand but pretty sure I saw that at Marshall's uh, Josie Moran whipped arganol face butter so that looks like a one-time packet that would be nice to put on uh, after uh, some sun then we have a Shiseido Gel Lipstick, and it looks like this is a little uh, sampler, Visionary Gel, yeah, it's a four-piece sampler, and uh, Shiseido is a good brand, so I look forward to trying that out. Here we've got a little Sunday, oh no, Summer Fridays, Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, looks like a one-time sample, so interested to try that and a Sephora Moringa oil so uh, some oil to try after washing and then last but not least tinted face oil so you got three shades of a tinted face oil so you got uh, 03 5.5 and 8.2 and so that would be good to put on after washing as well so anyways, that's a nice little sample pat packet for my uh, Pat McGrath mothership. And that takes care of my, oh wait, there's, there's one more thing in here. My Sephora Bioscience Squalane and Vitamin C and Rose. So there's another little sample there. Vitamin C Rose Oil. So that's a nice little sample. So that does it for the Sephora sale items. And next I have a, a big box from Ulta because they were having gift with purchase. And um, so let's see what we got from Ulta. I got the big box. Woo! All right. First thing. Okay. After seeing this item on... Uh, 
Angelica Nyquist. I got the iHeart Revolution Tasty Avocado Palette. This was $15, and I have not tried an uh, I don't like Revolution makeup. I just totally skip it. I tried it one time. I tried the Mint Chocolate Chip Palette, and I tried um, a Rose Gold Palette or something. I don't even know. I don't like them. I find the colors blended away. Uh, the packaging was a... Um, exact duplicate for uh, Too Faced so I shot I, I didn't like the I like the packaging but it was poor quality but I saw Angelica Nyquist do a really pretty green look with Tasty Avocado so I wasn't able to look at it in store because it was sold out so I finally ordered it this is $15 so cute and I haven't tried it yet but I do like the colors, but I'm really not expecting a lot out of it. I'm sure doing a green eye look with my Viseart eyeshadow palette. But I've heard a lot of good things about this palette, and it's cute. So I'm trying to give Revolution a second chance because I see it all the time at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Nice big mirror. So uh, I'm going to give that another chance. So I picked that up. That was $15. And then I also got the... Elf $3 I See You palette. Um, this is so cute. This was the blue one. So now I have the avocado, uh, no, the, the hot jalapeno and the rose one. And then this one is a little bit blue, a little bit purple. And I haven't tried these yet, but for three bucks, it doesn't really matter. They're getting kind of mixed reviews, but how can you be mad at a $3 palette? And for travel, you can't beat it. But that's so cute, the $3. I see you bite size eyeshadow palette from elf okay and I tried to find that in store too and couldn't so I had to order it because they have those uh, those they have those palettes at Ulta and at Walmart so the next thing I got was the violets by Juvia's place and I really like Juvia's place eyeshadow palettes and I've never seen one in a box. This this one's a little unusual. This was $14. And these were those six pan palettes that they came out. They had the berries and the chocolates. Um, so uh, this is a purple palette. But I like, I like their quality. Again, it's got mixed reviews. But uh, I like Juvia's Place. So I was happy to get it. And I think this is just beautiful. If you're looking for a purple palette, I think this is just gorgeous. Um, and I would definitely... Uh, this is beautiful to look at. You've got a deep purple. You've got a li you've got your lilac matte with your lilac shimmer. You've got your deep plum matte with. Uh, you've got two shimmers up here. You've got a more amethyst looking one, and then you've got your deep deep plum, and then you've got kind of a pinky up here. This is just so so pretty, and I can't wait to try it. So this was fourteen dollars. So I think that was it. Yeah, my total order for the three palettes came to $32. I get free shipping because I'm diamond. And they had with, if you bought, uh, spent $15 on Revolution, you got a free uh, floaty. This is a donut. It's a big inflatable sprinkled donut. You know, they've got that sprinkles palette. This is a sprinkled donut floaty for a pool and I've got a friend at work who who does have a pool so I guess I'll be giving that to him but gift with purchase and uh, I'll, sh I'll put a picture up so you guys can see what it looks like but it looks like a big giant sprinkled donut and then uh, also they had if you were diamond they had a free nine piece gift with $25 purchase so I got this nine piece gift with purchase bag and it's got a bunch of stuff in it so let's see what i got because so this whole order came to 32 dollars. there was three dollars and 12 cents and i got uh, free shipping so this whole order was 35 dollars and 12 cents so that's a really good deal um and let's see what i got okay the first thing is a la girl shockwave eyeliner and this is in the shade Vivid. I'm not sure, but I think I might have got this before. It's a really pretty purple. It's going to go per perfect with the Juvia's Place palette. And I do like LA Girl because I just got those palettes. Um, so that's, that's a really cool eyeliner. Very fun for summer. 
that's going to go perfect with this, don't you think? Yeah, that's awesome. So that was a nice little value. And then I got a, this is, whoo, this is big. This is a 2.5 ounce Allure Vesta Beauty winner from 2017. This is the Hask Charcoal with Citrus Dry Shampoo. Dry shampoo. Long lasting oil absorption, free of sulfates and parabens, purifying dry shampoo. So that's great. I can't wait to try that out. That is a large, and it's, I didn't realize it was an Allure Best of Beauty winner. So that's a nice sample. I love free samples. Okay, here we have a Winky Lux eyeshadow in Frothy. And every time I order Winky Lux, it breaks. So um, that was a palette that I gave up on. Oh, this one's in one piece. That's good. So Frothy looks like a nice peachy metallic. So that is Frothy. Now, I think they're carrying Winky Lux over at Target now. So um, I would buy there every time. Yeah, Winky Lux shadows are just so fragile. Every time I've ordered Winky Lux, it arrived broken, so it's just not a brand that I will order online anymore. But that one's intact, so that's a nice bonus. Here we have a CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cooling Glow Stick. So this is 7 grams, 0 0.24 ounces, a cooling glow stick, and 400 So Guilty. So this is... Cooling glow stick. So I guess it's a highlighter. Well, I can't get it open right now. It's got childproof packaging on it. Cooling glow stick. So I guess it's a, okay, yeah, illuminator. So it's a highlighter. But uh, that's a nice sample there. I really want to open it. I need a knife. Get this packaging open. Um, Well, <sighs> I can't open it. Okay. All right, next, Sun Balm Revitalizing 3-in-1 Leave-In Daily Hair Treatment Enriched with Coconut Oil, Banana, and Sunflower Oil. Oh, it sounds like it smells good. All hair types, 1.5 fluid ounces. Detangling, conditioning, and protecting. Oh, that sounds awesome. I wonder if it's got any sunscreen in it. Our revitalizing 3-in-1 leaving detangles, conditions, and protects your hair while enhancing and restoring its natural body it is by far the most borrowed item from our beach house. Wow. Do not rinse. Shampoo and condition, towel dry, spray directly into hair, apply one or two spritzes, and your palm rub together, run fingers. Do not rinse. i got to smell this. Well, it doesn't say it's got sunscreen in it, but that's, that's big. Oh, it does smell good. Oh, wow. It smells like coconuts and banana. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. What a cool sample. I I love gift with purchase. I love freebies. That is an amazing item. Okay, what else do we have? Vita Bath Moisturizing Bath and Shower Gelée Plus for dry skin. So, Vita Bath is a really good brand. I've been seeing some of that at Marshall's. Um, so... Yeah, well, I'll have to try it. I heard it's a good brand. That's a nice, that's a nice size sample. This is a great gift with purchase. Boy, I just, I just stole from Ulta. What else do we have? La Roche Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Another brand that's showing up at Marshall. So, and this is a very expensive brand. I just saw some of their, what was it? It was a tinted, I mean, it was a, it was like a facial sunscreen for oily skin. But I'm very happy to try this. This is for normal to dry skin, but it's a hydrating, gentle cleanser. So it's probably something like CeraVe or whatever. But that's an expensive brand, and I'm happy to try it. It probably won't cut makeup off of. It would probably be good for a second cleanse. But anyways, excited to try that. Never tried anything from the brand. Oh, isn't this pretty? Flowery scented cuticle oil. Lavender. Okay, so it's got little... I was thinking it was a clear nail polish, but it's a cuticle oil. My cuticles are in pretty good shape, but um, let me smell it.
very very faint but the bottle's pretty and I don't have any cuticle oil so I guess if they get jacked up I like that bottle though that's cute that's a nice little nice little sample and then last but not least skin company truffle truffle therapy essential face toner made in Italy okay that's expensive truffle therapy never heard of it or skin company so that's a toner so probably after washing your skin see what it says after cleansing moisten a cotton pad with truffle therapy face toner and apply to face follow with truffle therapy serum and then truffle therapy cream okay uh, well it's got uh, water and then witch hazel sage lemon peel rose fruit orange I bet it smells good it's got a lot of good stuff in it I smell it smells good mmm I wonder if this is I've got a cleanser that I got in a boxy charm that had truffle and kind of smells like this I wonder if it's the same brand maybe but anyways that was a great gift with purchase um, I would like to open up this illuminator though from covergirl and that's it um, that is it for my little TJ uh, not TJ Maxx oh my god that's it for my Sephora and Ulta haul. My name's Jackie. Please like, subscribe, leave me a message, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one, you guys. Bye-bye.